Hey folks, welcome back to November day nine. The prompt for this one was soft and my plan was to do a sort of tiny planet, um, like a little sphere with uh, very accentuated camera angles and grass and maybe a path going through it. And that was what I started off doing, although later on I ended up changing it because I couldn't quite get the look that I wanted. Um, but this first thing that you're seeing me doing here is creating patches of grass and what I decided to do was create a few patches as instances and then instance those patches. So I'm using a for each element node, uh, one of these zones to uh, to generate a patch for each of the incoming points that I'm making. So I just sort of pass in a number of points, it'll repeat the loop over and it'll create a bunch of uh, patches of grass. And the final thing in that node tree in, inside that zone is a geometry to instance thing. So it will pass out total number of instances per loops that it's done um, and I did one for the patches of the shorter grass and then I did another one for patches which had these taller grass with the, the like the seeded grass um, and that was sort of a mixture of slightly longer grass leaves and then these cylindrical stems with a bunch of little icospheres stuck off them at the top it's quite a lot of messing around with noise just to get the uh, so the shapes of the grass is looking right but ultimately quite a simple setup just using a curve line a little bit of distortion on that with noise and then curve to mesh with another curve line as the profile just to make a sort of flat ribbon so the next thing is to take what i started off with here was a sphere and i isolated the top section of it instance a bunch of points on it created a pathway using distance to edge voronoi uh, and, and a boolean on that so that would give me so the the outlines of the Voronoi shapes and just to make that a little bit more wobbly I mixed in a bit of noise into the coordinates going into the Voronoi. That mask can then be used uh, for all of the distributions so it can distribute the path on the center of the line but it can also distribute the shorter grass further away from the line and then we can also use it to mask out patches so that we can add patches that avoid the, the path for the taller grass I did also add pebbles for the paths and these are just icospheres which have some noise distortion on them and they're just very densely instanced. My laptop really did not like this level of instancing. After some of the previous Novembers I, I really thought that the laptop was just gonna chew through whatever I threw at it but yeah dense instancing especially when you're talking about things like grass and you're dealing with extremely dense um, geometry it just didn't really work out for me so I had to modify my expectations a little bit and because I'd already built all of the system of scattering it was pretty easy for me to just replace the sphere that I started off with with a plane instead and uh, added some noise to it part of that is Voronoi to give me sort of general mounds and then part of it is noise to give me a little bit more distortion more general distortion I thought it'd be nice to set up a little scene with a dry stone wall so added a spline which I raycast to the surface just to make sure that it was snapping down where I wanted and then extruded that upwards so I could have done a curve to mesh with a curve line as the profile but I wanted the extrusion to be vertical so it's just it's just easier to do that with an extrusion node and then on that face just instance a whole bunch of icospheres displace them with some noise and then remeshed it with a mesh to STF and then SDF grid to mesh node to just sort of go through that conversion. I made a space in the wall as well for a gate and I just threw in a little box to block out where I wanted it. And that way I could hide all of the geometry that was slowing down the computer and just work on this gateway knowing that it was going to fit within the correct space. So I added a couple of boxes, distorted them and did my little remesh with the mesh to SDF and SDF grid to mesh. That gives me the, the, uh, the gate piers. And then a cube with just a bunch of transforms repeated. Uh, that gives me the gate, just a little simple ladder gate. The grass setup was very simple. The ground had a very simple brown texture with low, um, low specularity and very high roughness, so it didn't reflect much. I 
instance the patches of short grass on it, use noise to randomize the height a little bit, and then I also added a spline down the middle running from the gate to the camera that I could then use to change the height, so just a geometry proximity from those edges. That then is used to multiply into the scale of all of my grasses, both the short grasses and the large, uh, the taller grasses later, and that just makes it feel a bit more like there's a path that's been trodden up this field. The taller grasses, similar process, but just uh, we're keeping them in these patches defined by by uh, by noise going through a threshold, and then from that it's subtracted the the region around the path to make sure that we don't get any tall grasses on the path. And you can see it's already it's all also being culled to the camera using this camera FOV clip node group that I found on Gumroad. Uh, I do also have one of these in uh, ETK, but I actually don't have ETK installed right now, so <laughs> that's why I'm using someone else's. You can see that I've got some random variation per rock on the wall, even though the wall is remeshed. And what I did there was I just sampled nearest and then sampled index. The mesh island index from the original uh, stones, pre-remeshing, onto the remeshed mesh. That gave me an index for each of those, which I used as the ID of a random value, and then blurred that onto the geometry just to make it a bit smoother. So once I had things more or less where I wanted them, because of the soft uh, prompt word, I figured it would be nice to have both the softness of the grass, but also a soft depth of field. Um, and I also added some little dew drops, which are literally just points. Just duplicated the points that I used for the short grass, moved them up five centimeters, and gave them a glass material. The compositor setup is not too complicated, just an alpha over to give me a background. Uh, I did experiment doing some depth based gradient mapping just to cover a little bit of um, a little bit of color, adding a little bit of mist to the background, which I ended up getting rid of. Though there is a little bit of bloom, which has a similar effect, and then a tiny bit of chromatic aberration bit of vignette, and a bit of sensor noise, I think, at the end. So there we have it. Nice, easy one. Very conventional procedural workflow here. This is exactly what we did right at the beginning. Like, this is a five-year-old workflow <laughs> that we were doing with geometry nodes way back. So nothing groundbreaking, just a nice way to fulfill the prompt word for this day. So there we go. Hope you had fun. Hope you learned something, and I'll catch you in the next one.